your latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Gabriella Pagan. Here are your 41 Action News headlines. A shooting in KCK left one man dead. This happened late this afternoon on Richmond. First responders took the victim, a 31-year-old man, to the hospital where he later died. The 51-year-old suspected shooter left the scene, but police later took him into custody. And protests continue this weekend as Black Lives Matter organizers take their message to the suburbs. A few hundred people marched from Overland Park City Hall to under the clock tower downtown. And organizers are hoping this will inspire real conversations about racial inequality, bias, profiling and injustice. Meanwhile, in Independence, people hosted a rally supporting police. Our crews met one woman whose husband has served on the force for 26 years. She says a conversation needs to happen and policies need to change, but that officers do a lot of good work that deserve recognition. She hopes interactions between police and the community improve. Your forecast is next. I'm meteorologist Gerard Jabela. We're going to be tracking thunderstorms tomorrow. Some of them could be strong to severe. We're going to be looking uh, later on to, into Sunday night where we could see a risk for a few thunderstorms to become strong to severe with damaging winds. The main threat, maybe some hail, and that'll last as well into Monday. So far, thankfully, it looks like Father's Day is going to shape up to be pretty good. It will be warm near 89 degrees. We'll see a good chance for some rainfall later on at night after everything is said and done. So that's the good news. It'll wait until after sunset. Still some rain chances on Monday and uh, looks like Tuesday is pretty dry. 78 degrees. Once we get to Wednesday, we'll start to see our temperatures stepping back up again into the 80s and we'll see small chances for rain and thunderstorms each day.